this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar! Since last time I made it back to the entrance here, cleared out all the enemies, so let's take a look around and grab some treasure! Mostly money we're going to be finding around here today, but, well, I suppose there's not much else that we would find, since we're not really finding much equipment. Now this chest is a trap. Uh, what it does is it switches your controls around for, well, not very long, evidently. Sometimes the effect lasts longer, and you can be thrown into those uh, poisonous pit, swamp area, whatever they're called. So, uh, yeah, like this area. So, uh, try to figure out the controls pretty quickly there. Uh, any other chests that are already opened around here, those contain traps as well, like this one. I already did that off screen, so that way I wouldn't have to go through that over and over and over and over again on screen. So, uh, let's see, yeah, that one's a trap. Yeah, 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 Admiral Akbar, it's a trap. Ah, uh, let's see. Ah, there it is. I knew there was one more around here. The Fresh Ring. Uh, that one I actually want to give to Alex. It protects against some status elements, I think. Something. It's not very good, but it's better than having nothing, I guess. So, uh, we want to equip the flame ring on Nash there. Again, nothing extraordinary there. Wish games had better or more interesting accessories. That chest is uh, a trap as well. Dragon Quest V didn't have that many accessories either. But anyway, this must be the guy we're looking for. Oh. Apparently not. Well, what? Like your ex-boyfriend? General Zack? No. No. Well, I'm gonna be the next Dragon Master. I think you're a fake. You live in a swamp on an island. You would think Alfina would have uh, given you a better place to rent. What about the Cyan Dragon? Did you think about that one? Uh, no. You, haven't you even read a book? Oh! <laughs> wow, Nash is actually kind of looking serious there. He doesn't look that hard. Kneel before Zuck! For boss time! This guy is actually remotely challenging. Uh, so let's see. First things first, we want to go with Vigor. Let's get Cascade Song on Alex, as always. Uh, let's start with uh, Thunderbomb. He's weak to Thunder and Fire. If you really wanted to, you could Check this out. just use Nash's uh, fire rod on him. No, not that kind of fire rod, you perverts. Uh, so if you were out of MP, you could do that. But uh, I don't think that's it. Well, I mean, I'll run out of MP eventually. Okay, this one is not that much to worry about. Yeah, he, he totally whiffed at me, too. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's sword dance there. Let's get a cascade song going on Jessica there. So she can deal a little more damage and keep going with the uh, thunder bomb there. Check this out. Nash, could you uh, or not Nash? Uh, no. Could you distract the guy, like knock him off, whatever that thing is? Doesn't really look like a dragon to me. It looks like a frog, or something. One thing I would recommend keeping in mind is try to keep Jessica's HP above, oh, I'd say, or not HP, uh, MP, above 20 uh, by the end of the fight. Just something to keep in mind there. Check this out. Check this out. Shove a lightning bolt up his ass, Nash. One thing I do like about Nash is how fast he is. So if he's going to use his uh, AOEs, then he's going to get it before we actually kill something, so he'll deal more overall damage, more total damage. That is the thing Check with Nash, is that, uh, 
The thing with his debuffs, they don't really seem to hit multiple enemies. That's kind of a problem, especially when they have a low hit percentage. I mean, with Luna's Temptation Song, I could see that being, well, useful. Because, well, okay, it has a low hit percentage, but if it hits a large group of enemies, then it'll hit some of them. So, I would think that would, but with Nash, they don't seem to hit a lot of enemies. Check this out. So, Thunder Bomb actually does have a pretty wide AoE, so... For those who don't know, AoE stands for Area of Effect. Anything that hits, like, well, an area of enemies. So... Yeah, you gotta watch out for uh, that move he does there, uh, because he can... Why don't you, uh, heal yourself there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll use the fire king. Yeah, uh, he can hit, like, mo if all your characters are bunched up together, he can hit, like, three of your characters at once with that press attack. So you want to watch out for that. I should be able to finish him. Yeah, Jessica talks when she heals. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I should be able to kill him before he is able to, or before I run out of MP. So, uh, why don't you go on the offensive there, Luna, and uh, Jessica, you heal uh, Luna. There we go. Yeah, Luna and Jessica pretty much have the same healing stuff. Yeah, shake that ass, Jessica. I like how she wiggles her hips. Kind of like another beast girl from another game. Except Jessica's at not underage. I, I don't think. I think she's legal. Isn't she? Not really into the whole bestiality sort of thing. I'll be honest with you, with you viewers. But, uh, anyway. My dragon! My cute little dragon! <laughs> oh, yeah. He seems to be able to command them, huh? Where did you learn all that stuff anyway? I decided to have some fun with the villagers by setting them on fire! Well, what kind of fun is that? Run for fun? Oh, okay, I guess we have to uh, let him go. Not even going to let us have a choice of finishing him off? Okay, well, anyway, the reason why I wanted to save 20 MP for Jessica is to use the Escape Litany spell to get us out of here really fast. I suppose if you ran out of MP, well, you could walk out. There's no enemies on the way back, but still. And we'll never see him again, Dragon Master Zack. Actually, I don't think we ever will. I, I think he actually, like, leaves permanently. So. Well, all right. There we go. That was easy. Uh, maybe not that easy, but... Oh, Facia. How did you get all the way over here? By yourself? Yeah, what are you doing here? Oh, well, Galleon kind of sent us to do that, but I suppose that was after we went with you, so. <laughs> and even worse. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. Everyone seems to be talking about that guy. I haven't seen him around. Well, it's good news. We took care of the fake. Oh, well, I suppose bad news that he's not real, but... Uh, whatever. I suppose that should have been obvious, so... Oh, yeah. What, what do you mean by that? She's kind of in charge of the place where you study, or... Oh, yeah. I suppose Jessica wouldn't know her, because she's not around that much, but, uh... Maybe she's new. 
Ah. Huh. Well, that's weird. She did? She seemed like a nice lady to me. Heck, she's... I think she's the nicest character I've seen so far. Heck, even Lake was more of a jerk to us than her. Can I have one of your bromides? No, no. It's not until later, viewers. We'll get Jessica bromides eventually, don't worry. Yeah, that is... Oh, she lives there? Hmm. Well, I'm sure it's not much to worry about, so... Okay, yeah, pay no attention to that, viewers, so... Okay, well now what we gotta do is we gotta walk all the way back to Vane. So, while I'm walking on the way back there, I'll, uh... Let's uh, see how Alex is doing in the Sega CD version, and then I'll meet you back at Vane. <laughs> okay, we're in the Sega CD version of the game now, while we're waiting for Alex to get back to Vane in the PlayStation version there. Figured I'd show you my setup here, and uh, obviously we don't have Luna in this version of the game. I uh, got Alex a little more uh, levels there, some equipment. The plot is mostly the same up to this point here. Uh, we got Jessica in the party, but besides Luna not being here, obviously. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, Jessica uses a claw as her weapon in this version of the game, oddly enough. But uh, she has pretty much the same healing spells there. And Nash, now that we got... Uh, he, he's actually really good with a bow in this version of the game compared to the PlayStation version. And we've got some other attacks for him, too. Or other spells for him, too. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of thunder spells you got there, but, uh... Alright, so, yeah, we're... It, it, instead of being on an island in a swamp, we're in a cave here. So... Oh, well. Well, that is kind of the idea. Where is your dragon, anyway? Will it involve violence? It does! Okay, let's see. Uh, first things first. Uh, Alex, why don't you attack the one in the front there? Let's see, Jessica. Yeah, why don't you join in on the attack there? And Nash, I want to use Thunder Bomb on all of them. Yeah, in this version, uh, by the time I got to this point, I already had a couple of attack multipliers for Jessica, so that's really helpful. Alright, one down. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's see, why don't you do that? You use Little Litany on yourself there. And another Thunder Bomb for good measure. Unfortunately, in this version of the game, uh, Nash is not as fast as he is in the PlayStation version. So, oh. But the game is easier overall, so. Okay, let's try going after uh, let's see, that one. And now that we're kind of whittling them down, let's use Thunderball on the lower one there. I didn't think Alex would finish off that first one so easily, but... Well, there we go. Okay, you two go after the lower one. Thunderball, go after the top one. Yeah, Thunderball is my strongest single-targeting attack, while Thunder Bomb is my strongest multi-targeting attack, so... Oh, we can help you with that. Yeah, I kind of, yeah, I figured that out. So. Oh, they're actually going to give us the option this time around. No, I want to finish you off. What do you mean by that? Really, game? You're, you're going to break the fourth wall like that? This is not a fan translation, by the way, viewers. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, okay. But thou must! Okay, yeah, yeah, so, uh, you have to let him go. So, oh, wow. Well. Uh, let's see, there was... Oh, um... Okay, yeah, so you use a wind essence and it'll warp you out of here. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, well, now we're done here, so let's see if Alex has made it back to Vane in the PlayStation version. Okay, we're back at Vane now. 
took me a little while to... You had to go walk all the way through the Nanta Barrier and, and all that stuff, so... Sure, why not? We can hang out, Nash. Now, one thing we want to do before moving on, since I used the one I got earlier, you absolutely, absolutely want to purchase Dragonfly Wing. Make sure you have one in your inventory, or that Nal has one, or something like that. But, uh, well, let's see what's going on here first. How's it going? Oh, well, okay. I guess we got to report to her, and Nash is going to report to uh, Galleon, I guess, or something. <laughs> well, before meeting with Lem Lemia, or Lemia, however they pronounce her name, eh, she's probably not an important character to learn her pronunciation anyway. But anyway, there is I want to check up on uh, Royce here. Okay, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I suppose not. Thank you. What do you mean by that? Oh, well, thank you. For a moment, I was starting to get the wrong impression about you, Royce, but uh, I guess I was wrong. Okay, well, anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show a little scene with, uh, well, not really a scene, but... Uh... Oh, you know what? There is one other thing I could show off. I didn't think about that before. Can I uh, take a look at his diary now? Let's take a look. Oh, okay. Now we can't take a look at Galleon's diary. I know we can take a look at it eventually, but uh, I guess not right now. Oh, well. Oh, I wonder what Mia's so happy about. Maybe she's happy that her mom's coming out of uh, seclusion or something. Or, I don't know. What, people eat chips with fish? Not that I would know. Huh. Well, she is a fortune teller. Well, maybe you shouldn't have put her in charge then. How's it going? Why aren't you smiling anymore? Oh. I wouldn't worry about it. Huh, well, thank you. Er, uh, good, good. Well, thanks for the words of encouragement, Galleon. Oh. Huh. That's weird. Oh, oh okay, yeah, well, let's uh, get out of the way. Oh, there's Royce. Hmm. I guess she's her new uh, right-hand girl or something. Am I going to get a medal or at least a kiss? I am Lamia Aosa, governess of the Magic Guild. I have heard you seek the dragons. I see the strength of your will in this regard in your eyes. And I sense something else. I sense evil. Hmm? You seek to destroy the Magic Guild and Althena. Why is everyone so pale in this game? Eh, probably nothing to worry about. Maybe she's not well. Uh, I think you got got the wrong guy. Nuts. Kind of reminds me of Chrono Trigger all over again. Uh, Galleon? Whose side are you on here? Oh. Yeah. You know what I think's going on? I think the fortune teller has put Lamia under a spell, so that way 
she can tell Galleon what to do. Yeah, yeah, that's it. How many times is Alex going to say Luna in this game? Where are you going to go, Nal? Hey, you got to suffer with me, Nal. What's wrong with Lamia? How are we going to get out of here? Is this the worst prison ever? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!